So you've seen what Donna's favorite patterns are. Well, today you're going to get to see what my favorite patterns are. And best of all, I'm going to be breaking the rules. Keep watching. Hi, this is John Nossel with Fabric Cafe, and man, we've got a great show for you today. You know, you've seen what Donna's favorite patterns are. Well, today we're going to be looking at a few of my favorites. So let's get started with our first pattern. So our first one is called Sweet Times. And by the way, this is actually a quilt that I actually made. Well, this is a great one because we've got a big block on it. And as you can see, this even works great with the focus fabric. So let's put this up here on the table. You know, I'm really excited about the kit that we've got on this. For all of you motorcycle fans out there, this is another awesome fabric that we've got with all of these great little uh, patches and little, uh, almost like a little sticker collection that we've got on this. That's going to work right in here in our focus fabric block, our block here. And as you can see, we've even got this set up so it, it's even directional. So it works great for that. So if you're ever looking for a pattern that works really well with directional fabric, this Sweet Times pattern does that. Our number two fabric is going to be our lighter fabric with this great little dot pattern on it that's going to be back here on our borders of all, all of our boxes. And then our darker one is going to be this black, which will be out here on the border and be even sashing around some of those focus blocks. This is a great one that you're going to really like, and it is called Speed Junkies, and it's 8022373. Sweet Times is the pattern, and it's out of the book, easy peasy. And uh, by the way, there's even an online picture of this so you can be able to see what the finished product looks like on that one. So next up, we've got Corner Play. And this is one of my favorite ones to do with batiks. You can see all of these great patterns on that. And let's put that up on the table. And we we'll might even show you how those blocks go together. Like I said, I love these batiks. Batiks are absolutely just gorgeous and uh, just give you such variety in what we've got in here. So our focus fabric is going to be this really neat blue, and that's going to be in here on our pattern where we've got all of our blue in here. And then our number two is this lighter, so we can get that nice contrast that we've got going on in here. And that's going to be here. And then our number three is this really neat green that we've got. That's going to be out here on the borders and also playing in the middle with this blue. So it's going to be a really neat design with that. So all three of these together are going to be just really nice. And this one is called Peaceful Blues. It is corner play, and the number on that is 8022371. And that's out of the book, Quit Pretty Darn Quick. Next up, we've got Chain Reaction. I really, really like this one because we get that snowball in the middle of this. And it gives you a lot of variety in what you can do with this. So let's put that one up on the table. I do want to mention that we do have a staff favorites coming up soon uh, in a couple of weeks. So be watching for that on uh, both YouTube and on Facebook. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, so we've got that like, that subscribe button down there. Hit that little bell and all of that good stuff. And we've even got an email uh, newsletter that you can subscribe over on our website. So let's take a look at this chain reaction quilt. So for all you cat lovers out there, oh, this is a wonderful, uh, wonderful kit that we've got. And we've even got one of those pictures up there so that you can go in and look at it. So it's a great one where we can actually see all of that on that picture and uh, see that whenever you're actually in looking at that kit on our website, you'll be able to see that full quilt picture there. So give you a really great idea of what this looks like. I'm gonna grab the cropping tool and let's take a look at how these blocks work up on this chain reaction pattern. So like I said, we've got two different blocks on this. So our first block is gonna be the actual snowball. And it's just a real simple block where we have that block of fabric here and we're just basically cutting the corners off of that to be able to let you see that uh, snowball. And then we're going to slide this right over and we've got a real simple block here. And if you're familiar, we've got that strip method. So we've got our first strip that we're putting in here. We're put, uh, sewing two strips onto the side of it to give us that first unit. And then we're just simply show, sewing another strip on each side of that. And then once it all goes together, you get just this great chain reaction uh, example on this. So our number one fabric, which is this really nice red color, is going to go where the green is on our pattern. So it's going to be out here on the, sh the strips and also out here on the border. And our number two fabric, which is the kind of the focus fabric in this particular uh, design, is where all the snowballs are going to be. So we're going to have all these great little cats in here all over our quilt and, and also in the small boxes that we have in here. And then our number three fabric is going to be where the purple is. So it's going to be out here on the borders and doing the sashing inside of that secondary box that we've got on uh, this design. 
So this is a fun little pattern, and it'll be a fun one for you to do. It's called Chain Reaction. There's the pattern name and Kitty Play, and the number is 8022346, and that's also from the Modern Views book. So our next one we have coming up is called Stepping Stones. And I'm gonna brag a little bit more here. This is another quilt that I uh, put together. And uh, let's put it up on the table and I'll show you how I actually went in and broke some rules on this. So you've probably gone in here and seen this already that you're seeing four different fabrics on this design or this particular pattern or quilt that I put together. And I actually added a border on this and went in and also used a different fabric on the binding. So let's talk about that a little bit more. Oh, and I ha also have to show you, if we come in here and look at the backing on this, you can see the quilt design that we did on this. And I'm just really thrilled with how this looks with these motorcycles all kind of intertwined uh, on this. And if this is just such a fun design, most of the time this is actually hanging in my office. A little bit different a fabric here for you. We've got a little bit of a, a St. Patrick's Day theme happening. So I know there's a lot of us up in the, the Northeast that really enjoy St. Patrick's Day. So we've got these wonderful clovers that were on this that are gonna be our focus fabric that are gonna be in our larger block in the Stepping Stones pattern. So our number two fabric is this white, but you know I mentioned that we've been breaking the rules and this is a great example of that. So in this situation, I actually reversed my number two and my number three fabrics because I, I liked the way that this looked, having that brown outlining my stepping stones on here. So the number two fabric is actually in this position and our number three fabric is actually in the stepping stones. So you can get a really neat effect by changing up the rules just a little bit there and doing something kind of unique with that. So this is a great kit. It's called Luck of the Irish. It's 802231. And it is using the stepping stone uh, pattern and we that is available in the pretty darn quick book. So I wanna talk a little bit more about how I was breaking the rules here by adding this extra border onto this pattern. So we've actually got a sheet up on our website that is talking about adding that border. So it gives you all of the math that you need for that. And it's a great way to enlarge those patterns just a little bit more. So if maybe you're doing a Quilts of Valor or you're wanting to uh, take a twin up to maybe a full size, you can go ahead and add some extra borders in there to be able to get it up to a larger size for you. Okay, so our next one is called Checkmate. And this is one of my favorite go-tos for just any kind of a large print. We've got this full width of fabric up here and then a really great little four patch up. Uh, as a secondary uh, section on this. So let's put that up on the table and look at it. And this is such a cute little fabric. Uh, you know, if I had a little boy, uh, I would definitely be looking at making this because it's just such fun because it's space and pets and cats and dogs. And I really think it's fun to look at this fabric even a lot closer because, you know, next to the, the cat, we've got a fish. Next to the rabbit, we've got a carrot. It's just really a cute fabric. So let's take a look at that and see how this all goes together. So like I said, our number one fabric is we're gonna literally going to be cutting width of fabric and putting it into that width. Uh, in that big strip that we've got here. And then we've got our secondary of uh, this cute little star pattern that's gonna be our lighter block. And our blue that's gonna be that secondary block and also out there on the border. And, and keep in mind, this is all strip method that you're doing. So this goes together very, very quick and easy for you. So this one is called Space Cadets and its number is 8022299 and it's checkmate pattern. And it's also available in our brand new Three Yard Quilts for Kids book. So let's see what we've got coming up next. So this one is another fun one. This was called Brick Street, and this is great if you've got two focus fabrics on that, because we've got two different block styles on this, like we've seen in a couple of other designs today. So let's put that up on the table and take a look at the fabric selection that we got here. So I've also got fish along with some of my other interest of motorcycles and stuff, and this is a really neat one for that particular flavor. So this is a great tropical fish uh, design that we have on this one. And it's got all our fish swimming around here with some coral and different things like that. And I think this is going to work really great in the brick streak pattern. So our number one fabric is here where our dragonflies are. Let me grab my cropping tool. I want to show you how this one goes together. It's just one simple block that has two different fabric styles or two different color waves in it. So our first block is right here. 
And as you see, we're cutting a strip of fabric. We're putting two strips on each side of it. Again, using that strip method. This is a great example of the strip method going together. And then we're absolutely making up a second block that's the same thing. Let's slide it over here to the, the right just a little bit. Where is it? There it is. And you can just see that we've just turned that. And so you've got just two simple blocks in it. And this goes together it's really, really fast. So our first block is going to be using our fish uh, designed here. And then we're going to have this lovely little coral uh, dot that's going to be the strips on the side of it. And then our number three fabric, which is the, the sand dollar, is going to be in our secondary block here that also has the peach uh, with the little dots on it all going together into this. I think this is going to be a really fun one. And it's called Sea Escape and it's 802276 using the Brick Street pattern. And by the way, that's on our Fast and Fun book. So we've looked at just a few of the examples of some of my favorite patterns, and these are always the ones that I go to whenever I'm actually making a quilt. So you can see that these work great with kid fabrics, with various decor colors like those batiks, and then even getting into those, you know, themed fabrics like the motorcycle that I, we showed there at the very beginning of the episode today. So if you want to see more of, of, of my favorites, you know, sign up for the newsletter that we've got on our website. You know, go to fabriccafe.com. You're going to see it, you know, our newsletter thing there. It's a great way able to find out what's happening here at Fabric Cafe. And, and by, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret there. We actually tell you about some kits that are specific for our newsletter subscribers. So check that out. So these have been some of my favorites. Whose favorites do you want to see next? Is it Franz? Is it Hannah's? Or maybe someone else here at the office? So let us know down in the comments and we look forward to putting together our next shows for you. So this has been John Nossel with Fabric Cafe. Have a great rest of your day.